New champions were crowned on last night's Raw. Elsewhere, we learned the identity of some of the Money in the Bank qualifying superstars, and a major name was backstage at Raw, said to be returning very soon. More on that later in this video. Hello everyone, Jack and Ross back with more wrestling news. There were some new champions crowned on last night's Raw. You'll never guess which ones it was. I mean, you've got it written in front of you, I'll but you'll guess. never guess which ones it was. It was the Raw Women's Champion. Was, yeah. Well, no, sorry, not the Raw Women's Champion, just the Women's Champion. The whole thing. Yeah, Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler, your new Women's Tag Team Champions. There was a fatal four-way match involving whom? It was involving the teams of Bailey and Io Sky, Raquel Rodriguez and her new partner, Shotzi, after they've got It was on fire, by the way, in the match. I watched the quick highlight package upstairs and she was flying all over the shop. Oh, very good. Mm. Uh, Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler, who ended up winning the match, and the team of Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville. Uh, but it was, even though you say she was on fire, it was Shotzi who lost the match. Yeah, she was team. doing lots of good stuff, flying, doing all these topes like she does these days very well and whatnot. Io Sky was doing good stuff as well, but it gets to the spot where Shayna sort of gets involved in distracting Shotzi, causing a little bit of a delay in her doing her shoot sent on off the top <laughs> rope. So that delay, it's crucial because then when she does the sent on, Ronda Rousey's recovered enough to then sort of lock in her arm bar mm. um, as uh, Shotzi hits the mat. And that's, she taps very quickly, though. The women's tag team titles on the line, Shotzi. Come on now, fight for them. And the women's tag team titles were presented as very important because Ronda and Shayna's celebration was massive. It was. Of fireworks and everything. Fair play. Let's see if the booking now follows up that pyro. Yes, because <laughs> it's been a strange one. I think, would, do you think these... Ronda and, and, Sh and Shayna would have ended up champions soon anyway. I think it would have been at WrestleMania. Oh, right. Because Shayna got in. Uh, Ronda was injured in the yes. build up, and then Shayna got injured in the match itself, unless you just want to give her foot some air instead of letting it, you know, like the swelling. Yeah, was in. it seemed very much like she was injured. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, maybe maybe then. Maybe it would have been at WrestleMania. But mm. they are now, and we'll have to see where it goes. Can you think of any potential challenges? Uh, th those three other teams who were in the match, that's, that's it, isn't it? That's <laughs> I can only, the only other team I can think of is the NXT Women's Tag Team Champions, the yeah. Witches. Oh, yeah, but you can't have the Witches going against the heels, can you? Or the Witches going to be babyface now? Oh, babyface Witches. You can't be cursing, making curses on people and doing spells yeah, and whatnot and dancing the, under the moonlight. Look the Undertaker oh. build a career on it. Oh. Ministry Undertaker, that's what the Witches are. Yeah, they are Ministry <laughs> Undertaker, yeah. Um, the other important developments on Raw concerned the Money in the Bank ladder matches. We had some qualifiers decided uh, um, I think only for the men's matches so far, Ross. Yeah, uh, Ricochet defeated The Miz with a plum, as you would expect to happen these, uh, in this day and age. And then yeah. Shinsuke Nakamura defeated Bronson Reed. Now, right. When I saw these lineups announced last night, or these matchups announced at uh, the weekend, I thought, well, obviously Ricochet is going to win his match with The Miz because out of the two, which one are you going to want in your Money in the Bank ladder match? Ricochet, Ricochet. was born out of a ladder, wasn't he? Exactly. But. Out of Nakamura and Bronson Reed, we've seen Bronson Reed, certainly NXT fans have seen Bronson Reed, in like cage matches and stuff where he's bouncing off the side of it. He's very good in stipulation-based matches. He is. I'm very surprised he lost this match. And with the little push he's been getting on Raw recently, right. he's been beating people and doing stuff stuff very well he's been presented very well I think with his little his little his big suit on backstage looks like a million dollars after yes. he did that weird promo but we'll forget about that and it's yeah I guess Nakamura because I thought Nakamura's little push was coming to an end last week with his loss to Bala mm. um, so that was it's, it's I don't know what's going on I don't understand anyone what's going on anyone can beat anyone either. Jack I think that's what we've learned here anything today. can happen in yeah. the World Wrestling Federation on next on sorry on this week's episode of Smackdown we'll get a, a qualifier match that I just don't agree with because I, I want both these boys in exactly the why, why have they put us in this position where we've got to choose between Montez Ford and The Rock. LA Knight. Yeah. Montez Ford and LA Knight. I, I mean, looking at it from... Well, no, not even looking at it from that point of view. I was going to say, well, Ford is more suited to the Money in the Bank ladder match. But as I learned on my video about who should be in the Money in the Bank ladder match, I neglected to mention LA Knight and that's the only comment on the video is just why not LA Knight you know been paying attention during he's the very, podcast for the last year and a half he's very very over now uh, yeah it's and, and again him in a ladder match he wouldn't be like a fish up a tree because he can do that jump can't he from the, the ring mat to the top turn buckle mm. in one fell swoop he's an athletic man I, I I don't know why they've done this and I would like to see both men in that match do you want to make a prediction as to who's going to win it's Montez Ford isn't it surely <laughs> unless LA Knight's going to cheat somehow you would assume it's just going to be Montez Ford I, doing a big, a big frog splash for the win I'd like to think, even though we didn't really get it, even though it was rumoured for WrestleMania, we didn't get an LA Knight promo segment or whatever, I'd like to think LA Knight will be in some sort of other featured role 
in London when it comes to the pay-per-view. I've got a pitch for that, where he oh. maybe buys the briefcase off somebody because he is the oh. million-dollar champion. He yeah. is the million-dollar champion. The streets won't forget. <laughs> also, two women's Money in the Bank qualifying matches have been announced as well for next week's episode of Raw. They are Becky Lynch versus Sonya Deville and Natalia versus Zoe Stark. The new, the new up-and-comer on the scene. The problem solver, I was saying on WTF Moments on the channel right now. Please go and watch it. Yeah. Um, that uh, They should shave her head and give her gnarly tattoos because she is now Trish Stratus is problem solver much yeah. like Tyson Tomko drop a beat <laughs> no um, two NXT names made their main roster debuts on last night's Raw one of them is an absolute legend of the NXT brand he's a WCW icon <laughs> Big Body Harvey I, because he used to steal lots of, he went on that oh. little string of weeks and he's stealing like the, 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 the L Dandy, Dandy thing and then yeah. there was the Goldberg plate I think he did yeah. as well um, um, it's yeah. NXT's resident comedian and funny man Javier Bernal otherwise known as Big Body Harvey but the man he was teaming with Ross I had to triple check this because I've never heard of him well I watched the highlights package before seeing the news this morning and I thought it was Matt Hardy because he's dressed like Matt Hardy circa 1999 but instead of a tight uh, velvety shirt it's more of a loose fitting velvety shirt but it is Kevin Ventura Cortez KVC we all know that one don't we <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> uh, you know how it Everyone goes do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's a famous man for other things apart from the wrestling oh, though isn't he Jack yes he is <laughs> He is a performance center recruit who has not yet made his television debut despite having signed with WWE after the SummerSlam 2022 tryouts. I think I read what? somewhere he's, he was an NFL oh. dropout or something. I don't bloody know. But there you go. <laughs> to be fair, that would that would make sense, especially given WWE's recent recruitment policy of athletes from any sport. Get the athletes in yeah. and we'll mold you into wrestlers rather than taking wrestling fans and molding them into athletes. They've gone backwards. They've Those gone... muggles. Yeah, yeah let's yeah. get the wizards in. Yeah, um, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I... He, he did all right in the match. He didn't really have to do too much. He just had to sort of get, like sell a bit on the apron. Then he got brought in. Then he took Veer and Sanger's finisher. Veer, by the way, it was like a leaping leg drop by Veer. As Sanger's got them in the, like a sidewalk slam position. Veer gives it a little sucker before he does his little leg drop. Oh, personality. Wow. He brought it back after because they were doing this very intense entrance last night, and Veer just sort of tried to get up on the on the apron, and he he fell off. It was it wasn't good. <laughs> and Namaste straight after. But there we yeah. go. He brought a rounded Veer. I reckon Veer's got the bander in that team. Out the two of them. I don't know, like Sanger in NXT, oh, yeah, the yeah, Playboy, true, fantastic. Yeah. Um, best of luck to Indus Shirt. But, but he this won is the a, match. A trend starting with NXT superstars and maybe aren't at the sort of top level of NXT because we saw Ulisa and Valentina in yes. a squash match last week and now we're seeing Big Body Javi and KVC. KV. C. Oh, no, I did it the wrong way around. Um, oh. As well as all these major names, obviously, there was another another NXT superstar, former NXT superstar, now called up to the main roster backstage at Raw last night. It might not be a name, though, that you would necessarily expect because he's been injured for quite a while. Yeah, Tommaso Ciampa was backstage at Raw last night. I, I don't, well, I, maybe we're not expecting it because that Johnny Gargano tease feels like so long ago now where the, the way or the new way we're having like that backstage promo is like he will return soon mm. and everyone thought it was Champa, but yeah he's still we're still waiting according to PW Insider Champa's return is planned soon as well as a reported uh, DIY reunion on Raw and possible tag team push which would be really exciting yeah it, it needs to happen for Johnny Gargano because nothing else is happening <laughs> at the minute it's not working is it it does but I'm just also thinking of what a match that could be if DIY versus Owens and Zayn for the belts oh yes it'd be like an indie it'd be like a P PWG show. Oh, all the drama spots, you know what I mean? Yeah. The hand, like something from oh, tapping, yeah. all that sort yeah. of stuff. Ooh. Get Shawn Michaels in to be the road agent and <laughs> it'll be so melodramatic. Um, he's, as Chamber that is, has been out of action since uh, last September, undergoing hip surgery in October, but has been improving apparently his overall health and training for a return since then. I think this is still according to PW Insider. Um, his recovery has included stem cell treatment, so um, best of luck with that and hopefully... According to reports, we'll see him back soon. Hopefully, that is the case. Up the stem cells. Absolutely. Uh, say because Kevin Nash, he goes down to Puerto Rico, is it, to get his stem cells put he? in his little, his little, his, his massive body. I don't know what I was going with there. I was trying to think of something to say. Little Kevin yeah, Nash. Yeah, little Kevin Nash, his little body. Um, <laughs> and finally, uh, sticking with PW Insider, who are reporting that the backstage reaction to NXT Battleground was apparently very positive. Have indeed. you watched it yet, by the way? No, I've, uh, right. there was, I've not caught up with it yet, but I definitely will before the podcast. I know the outlook on NXT these days, but honestly, up against Night of Champions, and up against Double and Nothing, as a card from start to finish, NXT was higher. Oh! Has a higher average 
average of star ratings per match, I wow. would say. I know Double or Nothing brought it to her with the final two matches. The first half of the card was a little bit... Uh, mm. Night of Champions was good, but it never really got like, whoa, mm. let's go. But NXT, especially Elia and um, big old Dijak, wow. they slap each other, they do. Anyway, according to PW Insider, NXT officials were absolutely thrilled with the show last night. This is Battleground we're talking about. Some feel it was the best NXT milestone event in some time I would concur since, with that statement. Since takeovers, maybe. Probably. Even, wow. It was really good from start to finish. Um, further to this, the report stated that one source we spoke to felt it was worlds ahead of their WrestleMania weekend broadcast, and I would agree with that as well. Wow. Well, I'll need to watch it then. Oh, it's a really good show. Well. Not even um, ironically speaking either. It's really good. Maybe maybe the podcast has been, maybe we're like fortune tellers, because hmm. we saw the, not me, I didn't like it at the start, but you and Matthew saw this coming a long time. Yeah, it's yeah. really good. Fair hmm. enough. It's the best brand in WWE, confirmed. Uh, half, leave your promotion of the half year incoming promotion of the half year <laughs> leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below and we will be back with more news later on today thanks for watching and we'll see you very soon